Hey Pokemon fans, what's up? This is Boss of Note, and we're going to talk about why Voltorb is not a failed experiment for a Pokeball. For starters, let's talk about what evolution is in the Pokemon world and what is in real life. In Pokemon, evolution is actually more like real life metamorphosis because you can't evolve while you're alive. Evolution takes a long time and it happens over generations. So let's compare a metamorphosis which is like a caterpillar becoming a cocoon and a butterfly or a tadpole becoming a frog with a little stump and then an actual frog, that's evolution in the Pokemon world. And then evolution in the real world is an example of there was a peppered moth in England back during the Industrial Revolution and it used to be a light color to blend in with the trees. And then when all the smokestacks and cars and, and iPods and all that technology started to make pollution, all the trees became stained with soot. So the ones that were light color were naturally easy prey for birds. But the ones that happen to be darker colored blend in. You know that? Hold on to it because it's going to be important. So I know a lot of you guys are saying that Voltorb is a failed experiment for a Pokeball. For starters, why is it a failed experiment if you took an inanimate object and you made it living, have a, be self-aware, be able to reproduce, and have an evolved form, I don't think that's a failed experiment at all. I think that's pretty cool. And then also, let's look at why wouldn't it disguise itself as a Pokeball? Let's say in the time before Pokeballs, or BP, if you will, which Professor Oak and then the guy with the cool beard in uh, Black 2, they remember, so it can't be too long ago, maybe 60 years ago, I don't know. Let's say the Voltorb, and I'm talking about Electrode too. Let's say they were a different color or whatever and you got sand shrews and sand slash and electabuzz and whatever just easily picking them off and eating them well that sucks you know they're easy prey and it's pokedex entries say that they're found near power plants okay well they're electric pokemon you can find electabuzz in a power plant is he man-made i sure hope not but anyways let's say once pokeballs start popping up some of the Voltorbs that have colorations similar to Pokeballs are being left alone because they look like a man-made item. Think about it. If I throw a steak on the floor, my dog's going to come eat it. If I throw a Nintendo GameCube on the floor, it's not going to touch it. So that might be how they survive. And come Gen 5, we have total evidence for that because you got Fungus and Amoongus, which literally are mushrooms that have the patterns of Pokeballs. And don't say that they're a failed version of a Pokeball, too. They're clearly blending in for the same reason that Voltorb could have been blending in. Or you got uh, Masquerain, who has the big face to scare away predators. It happens in the real world all the time, so why not the Pokemon world? And then also keep in mind, guys, that a Voltorb is a little over a foot tall, and it weighs 22.9 pounds. Have fun throwing 50-plus of those at a Pokemon. I don't think a Pokeball is any more... Uh, any bigger than a baseball. So really, it's enough to fool predators, but it shouldn't be fooling us. So I don't think Voltorb at all is man-made. And also, it would have been Steel-type. Look at Magnemite. Magnemite and Magneton and Magnezone, they're all Steel-type. Pokeballs, I assume, are made of some kind of metal, but Voltorbs perhaps are just some hard uh, textured animal. I don't know, but they're not steel and they would, we've had plenty of times for them to be retyped to steel, and they're not. So that's just one guy's thoughts. Is Voltor a Pokeball? Could be. Is he not a Pokeball, just trying to evolve and not get eaten? Probably. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a like, subscribe, comment. I make Let's Plays, and I'm going to start making other Pokemon videos. And share with your friends. I'm Boston No, and I'll see you guys later.